Welcome, today I'll be going over how to add mixed numbers in this video. Mixed number is a combination of a whole number and a fraction. The whole number is the big number in front of the fraction. So the problem on our board, the whole number is 4 and 1. And the top number of a fraction is called numerator and the bottom number is called denominator. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this problem on the board two different ways to get to the same answer. And you can use either option. Okay, so the first way is to separate the whole number from the fraction. So we're gonna take four plus one equals to five. So that is our whole number portion. Then we're gonna take the fraction, which is two over five plus three over 10. So we're gonna add the fraction portion but in order to add a fraction, we have to have a common denominator, which means that we're going to have to have the bottom numbers to be the same. So we're going to take 5 times 2, which would get us to the 10th, and so we would have a common denom denominator. So whatever you do on the bottom of the fraction, you have to do the same thing on the top as well. So we're going to take the 2 times 2 as well. All right, let's rewrite our uh, problem. So 2 times 2 is 4, and then 2 times 5 is 10, and we're going to add 3 over 10. So now we have a common denominator of 10, so the bottom number is the same. The next step is, we, is to just add the two top number on the top. So we're going to do 4 plus 3, that's 7, and then the bottom number remains the same, 10. Okay, the second way is to convert it to an improper fraction. So here's how you convert it to an improper fraction. You're gonna take the four times five, and then you're gonna add the two. So we're gonna go ahead and rewrite this. Four times five is 20, plus the two is 22 over five, plus, do the same thing, one times 10 is 10 plus three, is 13 over 10. Okay, so now we can go ahead and add the fractions. But in order to add the fractions, we have to have a common denominator. That means that the bottom two number has to be the same. So if we take five times two, that'll get us to the 10. And then whatever you do to the bottom number, you have to do the same to the top number. So you're gonna take it times two. Okay, so let's go ahead and rewrite this. 22 times 2 is 44 over 2 times 5 is 10 plus 13 over 10. Okay, so now we have a common denominator of 10. So we're just going to add the top two number. So we take 44 plus 13, which is 57 over 10, the bottom number stays the same. same. Okay, so now we're gonna, what we're gonna do is, this is an improper fraction because the top number is higher than the bottom number. So now we're gonna convert it back to the whole number. And in order to do that, you take the 10 and see how many times can a 10 go into the 57. So if we have a five, five times 10 is 50. So the five would be our whole number And then if we take five times 10 is 50, and then we have from the 57, we have a seven left. And then the bottom number remains the same. So our answer again is the same, five, seven tenths. As you can see, we got to the same answer doing two different ways. And you can use whichever way that is easiest for you. Um, I prefer the first method just because it's, it's easier to get to the answer. So if you made it this far, please do me a favor and hit the like button to help my video reach more people and make sure to subscribe for more videos.